creepers. What's going on, you crazy creeps? It is clear ski and I'm back. I've got the appropriate attire on for today. Today's gonna be a little creepy. We've got a really cool house that we're gonna go check out here in the West Hills. And that is gonna be included in some of our playlists, which is the, you know, weird kind of uh, unique houses around Portland, Oregon. And this one is special. It's the spider web house. That's right. And uh, it's very creepy. <laughs> I've been by a couple times, um, but didn't actually stop. So we're going to go up into the West Hills and check it out. But I wanted to show you guys something that's right behind me here as well this morning, just to kind of start the vlog. So stay tuned. Today's going to be a fun one. Check this out right from the get go this morning. I found another one of Mike Bennett's pieces here. And check it out, it's even one better here. He's got the Unipiper, kind of hard to see with the glare. But his uh, cardboard, or not cardboard, but they're wooden. Uh, little cartoons are scattered all through Portland. And this uh, Unipiper guy is an iconic guy here as well. He rides around town on a unicycle. Usually has a set of bagpipes on him. And I'm hoping to get him on the vlog one of these days. Maybe we can interview him. But yep, Mike Bennett. Never, uh, never disappoints with his art. Always very cool. There's some more. I see some different little vegetables here. I always love his faces that he makes. But I think he teamed up with Top Chef. They're doing some filming here in Portland. Love seeing his art, though. You seem like you are right now. I had a big great Dane Pitt. God, he's a, you gotta get a saddle for that guy. <laughs> yeah. What a beautiful dog, what's his name? Her name's Olive. Oh, her name, Olive. Hi, buddy. God, you're beautiful. You really are. Thanks for sharing, guys. <laughs> Have a good day. Whew, quite the hike. If you can see behind me here, I had to trek up this big hill, but we made it. We are here at this really creepy house. I definitely was excited to get it on the vlog, but right here behind me is the creepy spider house. In fact, this was built in 1929 by a gentleman by the name of J.O. Fry. Whew. And to make it even more creepy, wait till you guys see these windows. Um, very creepy. <laughs> Came by here at night and was actually looking for a different place, which we'll go to next. So always for good measure, I don't want to give away any privacy, but I figured I would at least take you guys here to the front and show you how cool this house is. In fact, this was placed on the National Register of Historic Homes in 1985. And I just love, love, love the style of this house and the chimney as well, just incredible. But one thing that I saw that stood out the most was these windows. Let's check out these windows. You can see there's uh, three of them over the door and one big one right here. Let's go get a better look. So look at these windows. This is dubbed the spider house. Look at those windows, you guys. And those just aren't like, you know, fake cobwebs or even etched into the glass. Those are actually placed over the glass somehow to create that cobweb look, which to me is just so good and so creepy. And I love how, if you see like some of the intricate brickwork, some of them kind of stick out, which gives it even more of a really cool look. And I love, like I said, how big this chimney is. And if you can see on the chimney, it's even got the little, the little pieces sticking out there. And another really cool thing, other than the windows, right down here, there's actually a little placard that we'll go take a look at that talks more about this place being on the National Registered Historic Houses. Check out those windows, too. Let me get over here and see if we can get a better shot here. I love those three windows with the cobwebs in them as well 
So creepy. <laughs> so cool though. All right, let's uh, let's go up here and read what the placard has to say. And I also want to show you guys the front door, which I thought was gives the house a really cool look as well. So check out this front door, you guys. This is so cool with the the brickwork like that, and it's even got like an old school knocker on it. And these windows, like I said, are just so cool. Let's go up here real quick and read what this says here. The J.O. Friar House, 1930. This property has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of Interior National Park Service and is subject to the provisions of the Oregon Special Assessment Program. But right here, the J.O. Fry House, better known as the, the Spider House. And look at their door. Absolutely love the door. But, like I said, for good measure, I want to kind of, you know, keep my distance and not bother anybody. I really like the garage door, too. It's got, like, kind of like a ripple wooden plank look to it as long, as well as the door. What a cool house. What a cool, creepy, <laughs> very creepy spider house. And I just love how the house kind of kind of sits back from all the other or from the street rather and uh, kind of gives it like a more creepier ambiance with all the bushes and stuff around it but I love those windows that is so cool absolutely especially the three above the little doorway there and in fact the door and and everything I love the fact that it's made of brick but I love these windows, those windows. I want these windows on my house. If anybody knows any other info too about the architect or just the creator of the windows in general, I'd love to hear, to hear more. Very, very, very creepy. So I love it. <laughs> very cool. Such a beautiful home, it's creepy. <laughs> it's everything, it's definitely Portland. In fact, there's a ton more of really unusual, kind of unique, weird houses on my playlist channel. If you guys wanna go back after this vlog and check out that playlist, I'm pretty sure you'll dig it. If, if you like this place, there's a ton more really weird houses all over Portland, but I wanted to get the spider house on the vlog as well. But let's creep down the street because there's another little well, not little, pretty big size, creepy house down the way as well. Let's check it out. All right, so the bus driver let me off right here, which really isn't technically a spot, but I wanted to show you this other creepy place here. This is a, could be a very beautiful home. In fact, I did a little research before I came up here, and this is like, literally like a four, $4 million home, and they only want 400,000 for it. Obviously, it still needs a lot of work, but at one point, this whole place was just covered in ivy. It was like literally growing up the sides. You couldn't even see it. I mean, this, they have totally cleared this back since the last time I even saw it. You couldn't even really see the facade of the house at all. It was just engulfed, literally. Uh, I'll pull up some pictures that I found from Google Maps that they took a couple years back and show you guys the difference. But right here, it looks like uh, McCulloch Construction are doing their job and like I said this place has a ton of potential and uh, thank you ton of potential with the two-car garage looks like they put a newer door on it as well but man talk about a score if you had the really the time and the financial backings to help you it's just a beautiful property really I, in my eyes, I can see it totally being fixed up now. My, a lot of people say, well, that's pretty darn creepy. Especially at night if you came by here and it was still all covered in ivy. But just another weird, creepy place up here <laughs> in the West Hills. Looks like it's got this little pathway. Wow. Definitely has a ton of potential. 
ton of glass back here. But look at what it's backed up to. You got this whole beautiful scenery behind you. Nice little walkway in the back here. Little porch area. Here's some more. Gotta be careful because there is a ton of glass back here. Here's the remnants of, like I said, the ivy. That was pretty impressive. You can still see some of the ivy here on the the back side. But I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here because I'm not sure if I'm even supposed to be back here really. But I wanted to show you guys that real quick. Just another creepy, creepy place here. <laughs> A lot of potential though. Pretty darn creepy. I bet though if someone bought this and fixed it up, it would be actually really beautiful. Looks like it's got some potential for sure. Just needs a little, little elbow grease. Maybe a new roof and gutters. Probably a bunch more things as well, but. It Creeping through these neighborhoods up here in the west hills are just so beautiful these houses are incredible and i just love that they're basically surrounded by all this forestry uh oh <laughs> i spoke too soon <laughs> comedy that doggy was trying to say hello i think i caught him off guard but yeah i definitely love visiting up here to all these homes or when Portland built homes not just cookie cutter style they're all different you know maybe one every couple is the same but a lot of history up here too it's pretty cool all right I'll see you guys down here in a second check this out you guys this giant structure here has got all these animals all along it here some birds looks like some owls and maybe some Cougars, raccoons. I'm guessing this is probably remnants of the old zoo. Hence all the animals on it. Let's go in here and get a better look. But I believe this was the original zoo cages for the elephants. Let's go in here and get a better look here. I also noticed this giant kind of mural slash sculpture of the rosy the elephant that's right right here gosh that's almost like actual size it looks like oh right here look home to rosie the first elephant to live in oregon this building is the only surviving structure from the oregon zoo's previous location rosie came to portland from thailand in 1953 let's see here let's get in get in a little closer her arrival helped generate oh let's see rosie came to portland from thailand in 1953 her arrival helped generate support a new modern zoo which opened in 1959 the oregon zoo has since earned international rec recognition for its asian elephant program more endangered elephants has been born in Portland Zoo than any other zoo in North America. Very nice, look at that. And they've even got Rosie there with her, maybe her caregiver or just a fan. And here she is right here. Nice, that is so cool. And to think this is where the elephants hung out. Very nice out you guys are getting their wedding photos done very nice it's a beautiful spot not to mention look at the shot of portland here all the way through the west hills basically where we started right down there what a beautiful spot for photography though very nice check out this place you guys just beautiful. 
resting way up here on the West Hills. This is a historic place here as well. And uh, I love the intricate woodwork. Looks like they've even got a placard here. The Levi Hexter Home, 1892. National Register of Historic Places, 1980. Levi Hexter. 1836 through 1897 was a prominent Jewish businessman in Victorian Portland who founded the dry goods store the Hexter May and Company. During the Prohibition, the house was a speakeasy and wow, and during the Great Depression, a boarding house. Starting in 1967, architect Robert Perron did a full renovation, winning a National Landmark Award in 1989 for Best Historic Renovation. This house is a Queen Anne style popular in America from the 1880s to the nearly 1900s and just beautiful I love the color too very nice nice look at this it's like about a 65 got the mp5s on it too that is clean heck yeah it's got a sunroof and I love the old school bugs with the big glass uh, headlights. I had a 65 and I miss it. This is beautiful. This gal's nice and she's just out enjoying the day. But look at this pink contrast and then she's wearing all pink as well. <laughs> that is beautiful. Oh, you're all good, bud. Have a good day. Thanks for sharing. That's gonna do it for today if you guys like the vlog make sure you give it a thumbs up you can ring that bell that way when i creep you guys will be the first to creep but until next time i love you guys very much for always tuning in creeper out for now